Nevertheless, they face a growing number of powerful people who would rather see them gone. For far too long, Congress has enacted policies that fail millions of men, women, and children by expanding our carceral state. And Congresswoman Ayanna Presley introduced the People's Justice Guarantee, a resolution that, among many other things, would make it impossible to profit off of incarceration in any way. So the resolution that you introduced, if enacted, would effectively put these companies out of business. In your view, that is, that, that's the intention. Yeah, good. <laughs> no, absolutely. Just want to make that clear. No, I mean, let me just try to contextualize this in, in the most, like, in, in a people-centered way. When you're just incentivized by profit, then you don't really care about the quality of the services. No, so not only are you profiting over providing the most basic of services, but then also there's no empathy. So it's just exploitive all the way around. These companies say, well, we don't make the policies that decide who gets incarcerated and who doesn't or for how long. We are simply an instrument of government to enact those policies. That's essentially the thing The thing is, is that there is a complicitness in that, okay? You're sort of trying to have it both ways. So you're saying you're not the driver of it, but you're also not working actively to dismantle it. None of this is naturally occurring. Like, this didn't just spontaneously combust oppression, confinement, exploitation. This has all been legislated. 